Is this the unicorn of travel pants? After a full year search and after crowdsourcing all my friends through social media, I think I have finally found the perfect travel pants. And I'll tell you why I consider this the perfect travel pants and I, I'll tell you why the other pants that they have in all the stores do not fulfill the criteria of what I believe is the perfect travel pants. If you're one of the five subscribers to my channel, then you probably know that this is not what my channel is all about. I don't do product reviews, but this is just too good to not share. And so for once in the life of my entire channel, I'm going to do a product review because I must share the findings. Now, this is not a sponsored video. Honestly, I can't even get sponsored for a stick of gum. So no one's going to sponsor me. I don't even have enough subscribers. So I bought this with my own money and I did my own search for an entire year. And I even got help from all my friends. I crowdsourced through social media, asking my friends to help me find the perfect travel pants. And I gave them my criteria. And for some reason, no one can find it. I got a lot of suggestions. I also bought a lot of pants on Amazon and I also returned a lot of pants on Amazon. And so know that it took me a long time to find these pants. So for the past two years, I've worked remotely, embarking on a digital nomad journey. This included a lot of travel. And because of that, I've begun paring down what I bring so that I can be more mobile and maybe eventually not have to check any luggage at the gate. If I'm working at a remote location for at least a month, I wanna make sure that I'm efficient with the clothes that I bring. Ideally, each piece of clothing can serve multiple purposes so I can pare down all my clothes into one carry-on backpack. For the past year, I have been on a quest and I believe I have fulfilled that quest. Now, if I found the perfect travel pants, ideally, I only need to bring three to cover me for the whole month. I've looked at Lululemons, Bird Dogs, Built, Cool, Patagonia, basically a whole year of Google searches. They had many of the criteria I was looking for, but not all of it. I was looking for a unicorn. It had to have all my criteria, which I will be sharing. Firstly, it had to have four-way stretch material or that athleisure material. Most, if not all of the pants I found were able to provide this. Secondly, it had to be water resistant, waterproof, or at least quick drying. Again, most of the pants were able to fit the bill. Thirdly, I wanted it to be fitted, athletic or slim fit, so I can wear it with a nice shirt tucked in if needed, but also dress it down. Just in case I was in another country and I was invited to a dressier occasion, I wanted it not baggy like most travel or hiking pants. I just wanted it to look more like a normal going out pants. Along the same lines, I wanted it to have a tapered bottom or at least have a zipper that can taper the bottom. So far, many of the brands were able to fulfill these tasks. Now my criteria gets harder. The fifth criteria was that it had to be at least an SPF 50 rated material so that it can provide a level of sun protection. When I did the Inca Trail in Peru, we were so high up there that the sun was just beating us up. So it would be great if I would have had these pants there. The sixth criteria, of course, since I'm going to pack this tightly, it must be non-wrinkle or non-iron. Believe it or not, most of the pants that I looked at made it to this point. It's the last criteria that basically knocked everyone off. So what was that eliminating factor? Well, my seventh must-have criteria was that it had to be convertible. 
So it zips off into shorts. You're like, what? Yes, these pants do exist. These are those pants. So I also had a bonus criteria, but this wasn't a must have. So it would have been nice if the inside of the pants had a mesh lining so that when I turn it into shorts, I can also turn it into swim trunks. Um, that wasn't necessary. And actually these pants did not have that, but that's okay. Cause that, that was just a nice to have for me. As long as it had all the other seven criterias, then I consider this the perfect travel pants. So what do you think? I've gotten so many suggestions throughout the year and no one came close to these pants. Do you have your own suggestion on the perfect travel pants? Please leave it in the comments. If you do, I'll check it out. I'll even buy it, maybe try it out to see if it beats the, these pants. But so far throughout a whole year's worth of search, I wasn't able to find a, a pair of pants that could beat these. So without further ado, here is the perfect travel pants that it took me a whole year to find. These are the Coolabar convertible pants. And again, he has a stretchy waistband. It's made out of a four way stretch material. This material is also SPF 50 plus. This is water resistant. And I'm going to read some of the specs to you. So the material is made out of DuraGrid. Mm, let's see. Uh, okay, it has the highest rated UPF 50 plus, which blocks 98% of UVA and UVB rays. Um, and that protection apparently never washes out. They, ha they actually have a fabric guarantee. And they have, uh, it looks like these pants are recommended by the Skin Cancer Foundation. So that's got to be good. Um, let's see. I already said it's UPF 50 plus. So let me read to you what the DuraGrid material is about. And so these pants are made out of DuraGrid material. So DuraGrid fabric is specifically engineered for sun smart performance on the water. The gridded ripstop pattern holds strong against the elements of adventure for longer wear, while a moisture wicking and quick dry finish keeps you comfortable. Lightweight, breathable, UPF 50 plus protection with cotton like softness for hours outdoors without sunburn. So that's what it says. So again, ultra, ultra stretchy, ultra stretchy material. But the thing that knocked everyone out are these zippers. What? Yep, these zippers turn these into shorts. So that's what it looks like up front and the the button clicks got zipper two front pockets again extremely stretchy there's also a hidden pocket right here on the right side and it's a zipper pocket and it has, it's not mesh, it's same fabric for the pocket. Also, let me find it. It's, all, it's on the left side. There's also a hidden pocket kind of on the back left side here which I've tried it, my phone fits perfectly in this, in this back pocket right here. So I could just drop my phone in there, here. 
Now, one thing I also want to point out. So, okay. So here's the back of the pants. And again, you can kind of see the zipper. But if you go lower down, you see these little vents. So these vents are directly behind your knees. And so and this helps, this helps with ventilation because of the material, maybe it, can, it gets hot. So maybe you need some ventilation. So you do get ventilation at the back of your knees so you can see it. And then here is the bottom. Again, it's tapered, so it's a little tighter and it's also made out of stretch, stretch material. And it tapers perfectly around my ankles. Now it's not, it's by no means skinny fit. I would call it slim fit or even athletic fit. So I actually bought two sizes. So I have a 32 waist and I also bought one that is a 34 waist. So I am actually in between 32, 33. If anything, I'm probably a 32 waist most of the time, but so that I feel a little looser, a little bit more comfortable, I wear 33. The problem is they don't have 33. The sizes come at 32 or 34 and it it has it jumps in increments of two and so I'm not sure how you like your fit so you know especially if you're an odd number fit so if you like it a little looser then I would go with the higher size if you like it a little tighter then I would go with the lower size I do have the 32 and I want to show you what the 32 looks like and I also want to show you what the 34 looks like um, either way uh, I don't think I'm going to end up returning one. Uh, most likely, I'm probably going to keep both of them. One with just a, a closer to a slim fit look, and the other one is kind of just more relaxed fit. Regardless, though, of which one it is, they both taper down, so they both look fitted anyway. And so that's one of the things that I was, I was looking for. So what do you think? Do you agree with me that these are the unicorn of travel pants? Let me know. I'm going to share the link to these pants in the description so that you have the opportunity to purchase it if you agree with me. And if you've already purchased these pants before, please leave a comment so that I know um, if you've experienced the same as what I've experienced or you truly believe the same as I do that these are the perfect travel pants. I know this was a little long and this is not the norm of my channel. I don't usually do product reviews, but I appreciate you watching. And if you can, please like and subscribe. I'll talk to you next time.